Hello everyone, my name is Kevin and for my summer experiment, I studied the effects of IBA on bean plant growth. Now let's break it down. So what is IBA? Well, IBA is short for indole-3-butyric acid, which is a naturally occurring auxin in some plants. Auxins are plant hormones that are critical to plant development. They are involved in many forms of trophism. This is because having a higher concentration of auxins on one side of a plant will cause the cells on that side to grow faster. Therefore, the whole plant will curve away from that side. It helps cause the growth of undifferentiated cells, which in turn forms roots, leaves, and stems. So with all this information, I asked myself, which concentration of IBA is most effective in increasing plant height? In my experiment, I tested the effects of varying concentrations of IBA over a span of 25 days. I hypothesized that if IBA encourages root development but is toxic to plants in high concentrations, and bean plants are watered with solutions containing different concentrations of IBA, then the plants watered with a solution of 1 mg per liter will grow the tallest, because the stronger root system will result in more absorbed nutrients, but the concentration will not be so high that it is detrimental to the plant. The independent variable in this lab is the IBA concentration that plants are watered with, and the dependent variable is plant height. Some controlled variables in this experiment included the plant's environment, the amount of solution given to each plant daily, along with other factors that might influence plant growth. As you can see in these pictures, on day 5 some plants began to germinate. By day 10, most plants had sprouted and had developed their true leaves. By day 20, the plants have grown taller and have developed more leaves. Some plants have started climbing the poles. By day 25, the plants have grown even taller. And here are some pictures of me and my plants. Now let's take a look at some data. IBA had a significant effect on plant height and growth as different concentrations yielded different plant compositions. Plants watered with IBA at a concentration of 0.5 mg per liter had the fastest growth rate and the tallest average height. Meanwhile, IBA at a concentration of 5 mg per liter yielded plants with slower growth rates and the shortest average height. Plants watered with concentrations higher than 0.5 mg per liter each had slower growth rates than the previous. For instance, between days 15 and 25, plants watered with the 0.5 mg per liter solution had a growth rate of about 7 cm per day, while plants watered with the 2 mg per liter solution had a growth rate of 0.1 cm per day. As you can see from this chart, plants watered with a concentration of 0.5 mg per liter have the tallest average final height at 100 cm. The average final heights have an inverse relationship with each other. A doubling of concentration from 0.5 to 1 halves the average final height, while a quadrupling from 0.5 to 2 quarters the height. One of the reasons for these results is that watering plants with doses over 1.5 mg per liter result in defects, such as underdeveloped leaves and stunted growth patterns. Concentrations at and lower than 1.5 mg per liter result in plants with boosted heights and above normal growth rates. Overall, my hypothesis was not correct. I had predicted that plants watered with 1 mg per liter would grow the tallest, but the plants watered with 0.5 mg per liter ended up growing the tallest. Auxins had a negative effect on plants in high concentrations and a positive effect in lower concentrations. A concentration of 0.5 mg per liter seems to be the best for the plant for several reasons. The fact that plants treated with 0.5 mg per liter grew the tallest shows that it was most successful in absorbing nutrients in the soil. Because IBA is an auxin known for improving rooting, and the IBA in this experiment was applied directly to the soil where those roots are located, we can accredit this boost in height to the availability of auxins in the soil. Also, the fact that these plants were one of the first to start climbing the poles and were fastest in doing so shows that it can accomplish the task easier than other plants. A higher concentrations of available auxins could mean a faster reaction to environmental factors and an increased trophism reaction speed. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed my presentation.